sports. It's in the game. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the home of the PGA Tour, we're at TPC Sawgrass for live second-round coverage of the Sawgrass Invitational. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. The leader is the Canadian Corey Connors. He's currently at eight under. And that is going to miss the fairway as his opening tee shot is in the rough. It's okay, not ideal, but um, manageable from there. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Didn't get it all the way there, but I think he'll be able to... Finish that off and walk to the next tee in pretty good shape, Frank. You're yeah, not going to get a prize for being a hero, but no damage done. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll remain one shot back. No damage done after missing the first fairway, but he should like this one a little bit better here at number two. The beauty of this par five, so many different ways to play it. You'd be a little wayward, even with the tee shot or the second shot, but really, it's going to be about the third shot today. How close can you hit it? A five-footer now for birdie. Yeah, well done. It's a birdie here at the second. And fresh off a 65 in round one, He'll move to one under for his round today.
You know, in this game, you don't just hit the shot. You have to see the shot. And that's a really good example right there. Excellent. Ah, nicely done. Things looking good early. That's birdies at two and three. And he's got it to two under for the round. Nine under now for the tournament. <laughs> Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Now is second at the par four fourth. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four, and it'll stay at minus nine. We've already seen some narrow landing areas on these first few holes. Number five, no different, and that is really a good tee shot there. Ah, good shot again there. Well thought out. Landing the ball short, letting the ball run onto the green. And inside, oh, I'd call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. to get up that slope it is in for a birdie and with it he'll take over the top spot on the leaderboard here on this friday this started toward the left side That is into the rough, and there could be some definite palm tree danger over there between where that ball stopped and the green. Good chance at one. Oh, just went a little bit too far and a little bit to the right, but still anything inside 10 feet is excellent on the salt.
Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back-to-back birdies here on this front side. And he'll move to 11 under par. That, a well-placed bunker. It'll collect plenty of shots just like that one as this indeed rolls into the sand. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker, it certainly gets a pass grade. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. This will pick up pace as it goes down this slope, but more importantly, it's going to work its way from left to right. That, that was low from the start. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's gonna stay too clear of the field. So that ball knocked down by the tree. Fortunately, he didn't get it squarely, and this lie should actually be okay. Coming up, Roses for our leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. 
And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Absolutely can do no wrong. Dialed in, and that is an eagle, and this is a spectacular round of golf. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. Left himself with 147 to the hole, pin in the back. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Yes, rolls it right in. A birdie here at 10. And the lead swells to six here on this Friday. That, a good looking shot there, well placed in the fairway. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. We really need a birdie right now. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. Okay, that ball online all the way. It's a birdie here at 11 to 16 under par. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that. Another good drive here.
Now this for another birdie. There, that'll leave just a couple of feet. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Yeah, he would have liked that to fall, but he needed to gun it just a little more. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. And he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. Gotta think this an extra half club or more as he sets for a second into the wind. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Got that up too high and he didn't want to come back. Safely in. It's a bogey here at 14. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Nice long tee shot. Fairway does get narrow down there. A little unlucky to get into the first cut. From just off the fairway, Iona, second shot coming up. It's 123 yards to the front of this green. 137 is the number you'll need to get it all the way to the flag. The pin up front in the right hand corner of the green. Uh, 
Well, it's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really. The outside chance for Betty. Gonna sneak on by. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll maintain that four shot lead. I don't know about that one. Ball in the first cut. Could have gone a little further down the fairway. But still, hey, what am I saying? In good place now. Just needed a little bit more, but that was beautifully judged from off the green. A very good roll. Well played there. A birdie here at 16. And he has now moved five clear of the field here in round two. Too bad, Frank. That one rolled right off the green. It was just coming out so hot. Chance now for another birdie. round birdies at 16 and 17 and he continues to just build up a massive lead for the weekend for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend and that another good drive here. This ball not quite going to get there. It'll come up a bit short and on the fringe.
Nope. Okay, so that will wind up the par at the last. And this is going to be a second round score of 62. That's some lights out playing. So another look at the leaderboard, and you'll almost do a double take, Frank, our featured golfer with a commanding lead through 